Well, let's take two on this because something happened with my Wi-Fi connection and hey, technology reigns sometimes. So what I was saying was that we now are in our container of divine energy. So now let us pour that out into our causes and into our community and into our households and perhaps into individuals and so let us now just feel that we are a cauldron a mighty pillar of light and then focus on the center of your chest hi stephanie focus on the center of your chest and allow this divine light to now pour out of you as a vessel out into the room that you're in and taking a deep breath in and then exhale and sending that light out to fill the community, your neighborhood that you're in. And taking a deep breath in now, fill yourself up with light, see it, feel it, going down to your toes and your nose and your fingertips and your ears and your chin, filling up with light. And then exhaling and sending that light out into the state that you live in. And breathing in again and exhale, sending that light out so that it fills the country that you are in. And filling yourself up with light. And now let's expand this light so that it encompasses other countries. Maybe you have specific countries that you would like to hold in consciousness sending out love, sending out light. And now one last deep inhalation and exhaling so that that energy floods out all throughout the globe, all throughout Mother Earth, all throughout the souls that are the great leaders of this planet. Amen. Thank you knowing that blessings are touching the souls that are meant to be receiving your unique touch of God's love and light. All right, now let's talk about you. And the topic today, you can bring in your energy. Let's now contract so that you are not as expanded, but you are more concentrated and you are feeling your presence right here. And right now, fully present, ready to learn, ready for your higher self to bring you wisdom that will move your life forward in some way. Today's theme, the core theme, is raising your standards for soul aligned success. So, what does that mean? You know, sometimes when we are being challenged, there is an acceptance and a tolerance of the way things are. And the purpose of this particular training tonight, this fabulous Friday, is to reconsider your waterline of tolerance. Doing the right thing matters. Having the truth matters. Having a way of building a standard of character and accountability. And who gains and who loses. All of this matters. And when you take that from the global arena and focus it on your own personal life you have your relationships you have your your businesses if you're business owners you have your sense of mission you have your sense of soul calling the purpose of today's training is for you to raise the bar and for you to look at in what ways can i increase my standard of the way I want to be doing business, let's say. How can I raise my standard in any of my relationships? How can I raise my standards in how I treat myself? How can I raise my standards so that people really know what I stand for? 
how can I raise my standards if I'm an employee in a working environment? What can I do? How can I raise my standards? How can I raise my standards so that my impact on others to inspire, to lead, to guide, to support, to perhaps do some tough love if that's necessary? How can I raise my standards? And here's a good litmus test. When you think about some of the things that you are encountering in any of those arenas I just mentioned, self-care, relationships, your home, how you treat yourself, your environment in the workplace, your environment in your business if you own a business, your environment in your community uh, charities and volunteer work and Areas that you may not get paid per se, but they're passions for you. They, these are things that you want to do. If you notice that there are things that are happening where you feel kind of like a deadened feeling inside, or you start to disassociate a little bit, you start to get very fuzzy, you kind of like pull away from your body. If you start to notice that you feel a sadness, a downward pull in your energy as opposed to an uplifting, inspired, creative, gung-ho energy. If you're feeling that there's a dip and you're losing some sort of hope, some sort of inspiration, some sort of motivation, that's your sign to reevaluate if it's time for you to raise your standards. And you'll know it. You'll feel it. And then you say, well, Sasha, I don't know what to do in situations. Well, that's true. On a conscious level, you may not. But you know what part of you does know what to do? Your intuition. Your connection to your messaging system to the God that is in you. It could be the connection to the God force, to your soul, to your spirit teams. They all fit into the category that I call. God communicating with you so that it isn't that you're just your head you're also whoops you're also your heart which is where the peace and the love and the wisdom of the God within you dwells and so the more you cultivate your communication with the God source, through your intuition. I say it's through your intuition. Intuition to me is a corridor. It's a channel. It's a conduit of communication. You hear things. You see things. You feel things. You get messages from God, from your angels, from your spirit teams, from your soul, higher self. And those messages speak to you through your imagination channels, the imagination channels of just knowing, visions, hearing, sensations. Maybe you smell something. Maybe you taste something. These are the different clairs in the intuition realms, clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairgustance, etc. Clear cognizance is when you just know. And so my message to you here today is, first of all, I can help you. If any of you who is watching this, who are watching this, and you would like to go deeper into how you can cultivate your intuitive abilities, that you can cultivate <clears throat> the personality that you need to be to have the courage, the clarity, the commitment to move forward in life as the person you really want to be, to accomplish the things that you really want to accomplish, then get in touch with me by emailing me at info at entrepreneursoulcoach.com. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, just send me a private message, or you can watch this if it's on a Facebook thread just tag me and leave me a message on a thread and we'll talk about what is really standing in your way and what can we do to remove sabotage blocks that are uh, causing you to abandon yourself, causing you to play smaller than you really can, 
that you're greater than the way you are showing up things that you really want to do in life but you just don't know how to start or you don't know how to navigate through the challenges please get in touch with me and we will have what i call a money mission soul success activation session in the meantime what you can do on your own is sit down with yourself and look at the areas of life that i mentioned and then think about each area and notice if you start to feel a draining energy. If you do, then go deeper inside yourself. Talk to yourself and ask this question. Where in this topic, in this area of my life, am I ready to raise my standards so that I am commanding the respect, the clarity, the performance, the effectiveness, the interaction, the quality of life that I really must have in that arena. And then after you've done that, come up with one baby step that you know you can take in each of these arenas where you want to reverse this energy leaking, this downward pull, and instead you want to lift up and you want to be inspired and claim the leader that you are and claim the authentic you that you are. And what will a one baby step be that would move you towards that way of living, that way of expressing yourself in the world? And if I can be of any assistance for you to run some ideas by me, just get in touch with me. In the meantime, I'm also putting a link in this particular description uh, in the video, both on YouTube and here on Facebook, a product that I have available that is perfect for you getting clearer about your soul purpose, clearer about where is your soul calling you? What is it that your soul really wants you to do? Who is it that you really want to be? And what is it that you need to clear, heal, let go of, be honest with yourself about, as well as a collection of trainings, both video trainings and audio trainings with companion workbooks that go deep into how to cultivate creating more sacred space for yourself so that you can let go of what no longer serves you. You can have the courage and confidence to be strong in who you really are and how to better communicate on demand with your intuition, not hoping some hit is gonna come, not hoping that some message is gonna flit by only, but for you to really know how to talk to your communication with your intuition so that you can get answers, insights, and all of those are in this collection called Soul Aligned Success 2020 New Year Bundle. Soul Aligned Success New Year Bundle. And it's just for you to get a great start, a powerful feet on the ground, vision excited, motivated to partner with your soul and your spirit realms and bring great things into this world. It's a new decade. It's a new year. This is a great time to be the best that you can be, bringing forth what you're meant to bring forth and for you to really be and do what you came here to do in this lifetime. So contact me if you feel I can be of service to you. Please take a look at that link. It's going to be in the description area. And I send you my love. We'll be seeing you next Friday. Bye for now. Mwah.